All right, Biden finally speaking out today, not a direct apology, but he is promising to be more mindful about personal space while still hinting at a 2020 presidential run. Joining me now, DJ Hill, a writer who decided to go public, recalling her own uncomfortable meeting with Biden in 2012. DJ, welcome to the show. Um, you've talked a little bit about your situation. It was a political fundraiser. He had his arm around you. You were uncomfortable as it slipped down your back. Your husband stepped in uh, and sort of broke it up with a joke. Why did you decide to tell your story? I, I think we're going through a cultural shift in our country, which in my opinion is long overdue. And I've been inspired by women who have been brave enough to say that that actions um, negatively impacted them, that they felt uncomfortable. And I also am a parent and a grandparent, and I, I think this issue is weary, and we've talked about it for decades. It's polluted um, politics, it's polluted um, our culture, and I think we've come to a point where we need to have a zero tolerance policy so that our country can focus on um, m pressing issues at hand. I want to play a little bit more of the president's, uh, or excuse me, the vice president's um, statement today. It was very lengthy. Um, here's a little bit more about what he said about how times have changed. Social norms have begun to change. They've shifted. And the boundaries of protecting personal space have been reset. And I get it. I get it. Um, but, DJ, in that uh, couple minutes long Twitter announcement there, he never used the words, I'm sorry. That bothered some of the other women who have come forward. What's your response? I would like to think that um, perhaps this is a time of realization and um, uh, self-awareness for Mr. Biden. Um, you know, time will tell. But I, I think that no one should define another person's boundaries, period. And so I will be waiting to see from, from Mr. Biden as well as other candidates um, it's one thing to say it. It's another thing to show actions that you're moving toward what you say um, this self-realization is about. I want to read something from a Washington Post opinion piece about this whole thing. They said, claiming that the women who have said Biden made them feel uncomfortable are either lying to boost other candidates or that their stories ought to be discounted based on how long it took them to come out would seem to set a chilling standard for a political movement that has aimed to put women's experiences at the center of its advocacy. You heard Lucy Flores uh, talk about what she's faced. People have called her a liar, a racist. They question her motives. Um, they try to minimize her experience. Um, have you faced any of that since you went public? Um, what, I would, what I would say about that is I never realized this was a very difficult decision for me. Um, I had not planned to do this when I went to that fundraiser. That was the last thing that I anticipated happening. And I really appreciate what moral courage it takes for women to come forward. And I, I think anyone questioning them doesn't realize, for instance, I have not slept in 24 hours. My phone went off all night. Um, I received some not so encouraging uh, correspondence. And I think anyone that calls into question these women's behavior doesn't understand that there is no upside for them. And so we, we do it because mm -hmm. we're patriots and we believe in our country, but we also want to see a cultural change. Mm -hmm. I, I used to be a sex harassment attorney in another life. Uh, do you worry that some of these reactions and, and what you've described happening to you will make women think twice about sharing their own story or experience? I think if you're honest, I think um, I've been very specific about, um, I've listened to the commentary, I've been very specific about how I described uh, Mr. Biden's behavior, that it made me uncomfortable. I've been, I've been in some cases urged to call it, you know, a sexual, you know, was it this, was it that? It made me uncomfortable. And so I think, what I would say to other women is if if you have this story to tell, you have to examine in your own heart how important it is for you to come forward. But I would also urge you that um, it, it is something that uh, I think is is respected. Mm -hmm. People people respect 
uh, other people that come forward and share a story, but they share it honestly, and they're doing it for um, the purposes of wanting to do their civic duty. DJ Hill, we thank you for coming on to talk about it with us. It's good to have you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it.